Breastfeeding is thought to be the best source of nutrition for most infants, but why is it very important to give vitamin D drops to your breastfeeding baby? To find out the answer, keep watching! Hey guys, this is Dr. Sidra. I'm a pharmacist who's passionate about health, pharmacy, and beauty. If this interests you, then keep watching and subscribe for more. So you've chosen to breastfeed your baby, great choice. But have you been told to add vitamin D drops to your child's diet? Well, before I get into it, I wanna briefly talk about why vitamin D is crucial for the health and development of your baby. Well, vitamin D helps bone development in your baby. Babies who do not get enough vitamin D may actually develop rickets. And rickets is a disease that softens and deforms the bone. And so you don't want that. So young children who don't have enough vitamin D can end up with bowed legs and they grow and it can actually cause delay in their crawling and walking process and also it can form like not only soft uh, bones but also soft skulls which is like very scary right another thing is vitamin D also helps body absorb calcium which is then actually utilized to strengthen the bones so calcium and vitamin D absorption actually goes hand in hand now this is just a brief description of why vitamin D is essential I'm not gonna go into details here I have a separate video on uh, the benefits of vitamin D if you're interested you can actually go check that out I'll put the link in description and also in the I button for you all right moving on to the question why breastfed babies need vitamin D now it's because research and tests have shown that breast milk actually lacks vitamin D see as humans one of the most common ways to get vitamin D is through exposure to sunlight and in order to do this we actually do require direct sunlight exposure without sunscreen that's the key here people like put on sunscreen and go sit out in sun thinking that they're gonna get vitamin d out of sun no no that's not the case you have to be actually sitting in sun without sunscreen which i don't actually recommend because that can actually lead to uh, skin cancer so as a pharmacist i don't really recommend getting into sun or get a direct sun exposure to uh, get the vitamin d and also doctors advise mothers to limit their baby's sun exposure as much as possible because especially with the babies the sunlight can burn their skin very easily so really at this point we have to find another way to get vitamin d now humans can also get vitamin d through uh, dietary sources such as supplements many foods such as milk and cereals are fortified with vitamin D and most of the multivitamins also contain vitamin D. You know, still I think it's believed that many mothers are not receiving enough vitamin D through their diets to make up for the lack of sun exposure and eventually this leads to vitamin D deficiency in them and not having enough vitamin D in their body or in their breast milk to be passed into their baby. And this is why it's very important to give a daily dose of vitamin D to your baby now the baby food or the infant formula is often fortified with vitamin D but that as well is not enough for the babies until the baby is actually taking at least 32 ounces of formula every day. Now in the beginning, the first few months, the baby don't really consume enough formula to get that recommended daily dose of vitamin. That's why you really need to use vitamin D drops for your baby which I'm going to talk in a little bit. But first of all, let's discuss how much vitamin D do the babies need. The American Academy of Pediatrics and the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine actually recommends that all babies who are exclusively or partially at breastfeed should receive at least 400 international units of vitamin D per day in the beginning of first few days of the life in up to 12 months for one year and up to three years old babies it's recommended to give at least 600 international units of vitamin d per day now this vitamin d supplementation could be in the form of vitamin d drops that you can actually purchase over the counter from a pharmacy like the enfamil drops or just any other vitamin d drops now keep in mind that babies should continue to receive vitamin d supplements until they are drinking at least 32 ounces each day of either infant formula or whole cow's milk and both of these are often fortified with vitamin D. Now I would like to mention here that 
cow's milk is not recommended until your baby is a year old and it's because the cow's milk has high amount of protein that your baby's immature kidneys and digestive system cannot really process and also cow's milk lack the proper amount of uh, iron vitamin c and other nutrients that infants need now most brands of infant vitamin d drops offer a dropper and their 1 ml uh, dropper usually has the recommended dosage of 400 units so using the dropper it's really easy to administer the vitamin d to your kid all you have to do is just place the dose using dropper directly into the baby's mouth and aim for inside of the cheeks not really the back of the throat and you can also mix the vitamin d drops in the baby formula or in an express milk in a bottle now a question that i get asked a lot is that can you raise vitamin d levels in breast milk and what if the breastfeeding mom takes vitamin d will that change the levels of vitamin d in her milk now that's a great question and i would say yes that's an option supplementing yourself in order to supplement your baby is definitely an option if mother chooses to supplement herself it's recommended that she takes at least 6400 international units of vitamin d every single day to pass enough vitamin d in her milk now mind you most of the prenatal vitamins contain some amount of vitamin d uh, it's not uh, as much as 6400 it's normally 400 to 1200 units so it's important that you take additional vitamin d supplement to achieve that recommended dose I do want to mention here that it's important if you do decide to supplement yourself I recommend that you discuss with your pediatrician to determine if this is actually the right option for your baby or not another important question that a lot of moms ask me is how can they tell whether their baby has vitamin D deficiency or not and to be honest vitamin D deficiency isn't easy to spot in babies compared to like you know elderly partially it's because they can't really tell you what they're feeling like they can't tell you if they are tired or fatigued you know if they have muscle pain which are actually some of the symptoms of vitamin d deficiency and also the signs of vitamin d deficiency may not even show up until a couple of months or years later so i think it's important to go to your pediatrician for a regular health exam of your baby a doctor can actually check your baby's vitamin d level if there is a frequent illness or infection that could be actually a sign that your baby does need vitamin d poor growth in your baby is also a sign of vitamin d deficiency but regardless i recommend don't wait to see if your baby has symptoms of vitamin d deficiency supplement vitamin d regularly to prevent deficiency because really at this point for the health and safety of your child prevention actually is better than cure because like i mentioned before vitamin d is very important for the uh, growth and development of your baby's bone and you don't want to take any chance and finally if you have any concerns about the baby's health and growth do talk to your doctor and pharmacist all right so this is it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful if you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family to help spread awareness and hey don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content on health pharmacy and beauty i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye mm -hmm.